In this video, we'll show you how to change units and coordinate systems on your Garmin eTrex 20. Depending on the type of work that you're doing, you may need to adjust this, but for most typical users, out of the box settings is pretty much what you need. Uh, but if you do need to change it, you can go down to the setup and we'll take a look at these two features here units and then position format so units you would come in here so if you're imperial or metric type of person you can go in here and change each of the items here now to whichever one that you want so we got the distance and speed elevation depth and pressure and if you want to change position format on the GPS so let's say for example you're doing uh, search and rescue, uh, police work, fire, uh, you're using uh, NAD83 maps and UTM, this is where you change it. Go into position format. So the position format, you have a whole bunch of different formats that you can use. So let's take a look here. Let's see if we can find UTM. The datum. Here, let's take a look at All right NAD 83. Now you would check on your map to see what uh, the datum is, and the sphere word if needed. But that is typically what you would use. So now, if you were to mark a waypoint, you can see now that the position format has changed. Now, if you're doing something else, such as geocaching or anything like that, you may want to go back and reset the position format so that you don't get erroneous errors, especially with the datum. Here, we can just restore defaults by hitting the menu, and then we're back to uh, normal. Those are uh, the two main settings on the eTrex 20.